Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Draw Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix. Syncard is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FAS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. The game is very recently released just one hour back on the Steam and I played this, the game is cool. So let's move to the workaround. So if you're having these kind of issue, all you have to do is we just need to follow these instructions. And the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart on your system. For this, we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular power icon, go for the restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game. This is what you have to do. So restarting the game is most probably that's going to fix the issue up because restarting is going to work for you. So you can try with restarting the game. That is what you have to do. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So we always launch the game from the Steam. That is why we are having this particular issue. Sometimes we just need to launch the game from the installation folder that's going to fix this up. So we just need to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the installed files and we just need to go for the browse. That's going to take you to the installation folder. If you check over here at the top, that is this PC, local to C, program for x 6 Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Syncard. Now from here, this is the application. We just need to launch the game from here. For many of the users, when they launch the game from here, it worked for them. So you can try this out. That is what you have to do. So this might work, this might, this might not work. So you can try launch the game from the installation folder. It's going to work for, in my knowledge, for most of the cases. So if that is not going to work, I'm going to show you two more steps in the same installation folder. One among them is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have to right click over here and go to the show more options, go to the properties and go to the compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. So if that is not working, you can also run the game as an administrator. You can try launching from the installation folder. If that is still, it's not working. We can try with the next one. That is all about nothing, but we can launch the game in the compatibility mode. For this, we just need to right click over here. Once again, go for the show more options and we have to go to the properties, go to the compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode. So we have two options. Either you can go for Windows 7, launch the game and go for apply and go for OK. And we can go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. That is what we have to do. So once you launch the game, as you can see, once you launch the game, that is going to work for you. In most cases, when you launch the game, most probably when you're running in the compatibility mode, this has to be fixed. And if it's not working, we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure the date, time, and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go to the settings. Now from here, we need to go over here. Now from here, go to the time and language, go to the date and time, make sure this is turned it on as well as this should be turned it on. Both thing has to be turned it on. Go back and now go to the language and region. Over here, you have to make sure the geography should be correct. So if you're from India, you have to select India. And if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from any other country, you have to select the respective one. Once you set this up, just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is once you try with this one, the next one is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This worked for many users so you can try the same. Just press Alt and Tab while you launch the game because it worked for many users so you can try this out as well. If that is not the case, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to delete the saved game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the file explorer and we just need to go to this PC, go to the documents over here. And if you find the folder over here, if you go to the my games, you'll be getting the folder on the game sync it when you start playing the game and saving each step, each uh, levels of the game will be getting the folder. Just delete the folder and keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once you delete it, we just need to close this and we just need to go back and try launch the game. If that is not the case, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go for control panel. If it's not there, just search for control panel. Click on the control panel. We just need to go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Now go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to the game S because hence it is an alphabet. This will be synced over here. So we just need to keep scrolling down and if you keep scrolling down, you will be able to find the sync cut. So you have to keep in mind that the both the private and public has to be selected or else you'll be having the trouble. So if the game is not there, we can add it by default. Just click on the change settings and we have to go for allow another app, go for browse. 
Go to this PC, go to local to C, program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam over here, go to Steam apps. Now from here go to common. Now from here we have to go over here and we just need to keep on scrolling down, select sinker and select this one and go for open and we have to go for add and once you add the game just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game that is what we have to do so once you're done with this one if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is all about we have to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so i don't know how this is related but this worked for many of the users just unplug everything that is what you have to do so you might be connected with multiple things for example you might be connected to multiple monitors you might be connected to the logitech wheels you might be connected to the uh, you know many things over here at the same time with the controllers joystick and many things which is all causing the issue regarding this one so what you need to do is we just need to unplug everything when, uh, once you unplug everything just launch the game once the game is successfully launched most probably that's going to help you guys out next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to Perform a clean boot, which you just need to go over here in the search. We have to go for system configuration. You just need to type system configuration over here. Just go for the system configuration. That's going to take you to this. Go for services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services and go for apply and go for OK. The users who are watching this go for restart, but I'm going to go for exit without restart. But here we deal in the middle of shooting. So those users who are watching this just go for restart. And once after that, just try launching the game. Most probably that's going to work for you guys as well. Next one is all about nothing, but we have to disable the steam overlay for this. Just go over here, right click and we have to go to the properties. Go over here and make sure over here, as you can see, enable the steam overlay while in game should be turn it off, which is quite important. So you just need to turn this off. Try launch the game. After try with this, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. That is all about we have to go to the launch option. So in the launch option, we have to give the command. The first command is DX11. Give with the DX11. Try launching the game. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and try launch the game. So either DX11 or DX12, any one of the things will be working fine. And that is what you have to do. Because uh, because this worked for many of the users for the many games, including the Remnant 2, Ratchet and Clank to Rift Apart, and even for the many of the games, so you can try this out, including the Star Field. So you can try this out and try launch the game. If the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. That is all about we have to close all the overlay application, which is one of the main reasons why it is keep on, keeps on crashing. So we just need to go over here. Go to the task, right click over here and go to the task manager. Right now, as you can see, all these things are running in the background. There are actually 45 apps running in the background, which is causing one of the main reasons why we are having the crashing issue. So what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to this one. And as you can see, uh, right now, when you're launching the game, these things are actually running in the background. For example, Discord, which comes to the category of overlay applications and Riva Tuner MSI Afterburner, which comes to the category of overclocking application, which is one of the main reasons why we are having the crashing issue. So we just need to remove the unwanted things from here. If you find the Discord, remove it. If you find the Riva, uh, Riva Tuner MSI Afterburner and all these kind of things, you can remove it completely. And afterwards, you just need to close this and Go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we need to run the game on the dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here and we just need to search for graphics settings over here so when you go for the graphics setting just select this one and as you can see this is how it looks like now from here as you can see i have already added many games including the atlas fallen is added many games are added the same way we need to add the game so just click on the browse and we need to navigate to the installation folder go to the c over here go to the program for x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam keep scrolling down and go to steam apps go to common over here and we have to go over here and scrolling down and navigate to sync it select this one and go for add right now it is added and as you can see we just need to click on the options and set this to high performance that is very important we have to set this to high performance and go for save once you save this up we have just need to close this and we have to go back and try launching the game most probably the issue has to be fixed so this is an important step even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. That is all about we are trying to update the graphics card because sometimes, you know, if the graphics cards are out to date, you'll be having the crashing issue. So it's quite important that you have to make sure it is on the latest version. So just go over here. I'll be providing link in the description so you don't have to worry. So the users on the NVIDIA, they just need to go over here. They just need to select the product, product series, product operating system, language, etc. Everything from here. So if you're on the AMD, just select everything over here. So you can select everything from here and we have to go for submit 
Now, after me, go for submit. You will be getting two options. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. So over here, as you can see, we need to go over here in the product type, product series, everything. It's selected. You have to select everything and go for start search. So what happens is you'll be getting the latest released outdated version. So that is 5.37.13. It's the latest released version, which is on August 20, 2023. So just download this one. Install. Restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. So... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, when you launch these kind of thing, the issue has to be fixed for many of these. But still, you're done with the issue. If you're still having the issue, we can try with the next one. That is all about we are increasing the virtual memory. So just go over here and we just need to search for view advanced system settings. Just go to this particular one and go to the tab over here advanced go for settings once again go to the advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local list where the game is installed and go for custom size here we have to set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total tram and the maximum size is three times the total tram we need a calculator so we can calculate it very easily so just search for the calculator and now what you need to do is we just need to type the RAM. So just type your RAM. So the RAM of my computer is 32 GB. So it differs from, from mine to yours because yours might be 4, 8, 16, etc. Just type your RAM and you have to multiply with the constant same value that is 1024 that brings you this particular value and you have to multiply it with 1.5 for the initial that is 49152. So just copy this and we have to paste it. Next one that is all about the maximum size that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 that brings you to into 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well. Just go for it ok and once every value is being set just try launch the game and that's gonna work for you guys as well. Next one is after trying with this if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is updating the window so just go over here go to the settings. Go to the windows update over here and make sure the windows is up to date which is very important because or else you're having a lot of trouble because the windows has to be up to date simultaneously the graphics should be up to date or else you'll be having a lot of trouble so once you update the windows you have to move to the next one next one we have a very important two step that's why i'm showing you both these things in the last after trying with all these things if the issue is still working it's not sorted out you can try with this one that is all about we just need to go over here select the game right click and we have to go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back when you're doing this keep in mind i'm having only one local disk so the users who are watching this you might be having multiple disk for example by default every game you download from the steam will be downloaded here in the c you have to change the position to d or either to the e because for me trust me this worked for me for me it worked for the back four blood game even for the left four dead two even for the spider-man and Morales, even the more my most favorite game which is starfield it all worked for me so you can try this out just change the position uninstall the game and reinstall it back on any other local disk and even after trying with this if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is all about we need to try with the verify integrity of game file which is an important step so just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties go to the install it file and you can try on verify integrity of game file which is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 47.42 gb it's going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all those things will be completely fixed by this particular step and this is what you have to do i hope this video is helpful and and, uh, you know these try steps can be done from your side so let me wait this to reach 100 percentage once I reach this you can I'll be showing you the next step
So as you can see, it cross check every single files and afterwards try launch the game. So these will be fixing the issue up. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with Syncert having this kind of issue. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.